Hello, hello. How's it going on this Thursday? So bummer deal. I still can't, didn't have time to, I had to wipe my computer. So I haven't had time to set up my stream deck again. So I am down to one camera and it's my mounted camera that's actually mounted for my saw. So we're going to have to work around it. So you won't necessarily see me <laughs> tonight. Um, but um, you'll be able to see what we're doing. So I thought we would do some jokes tonight, um, which are kid jokes, but they're fun. And um, we have a couple things. So I have this really cute, um, it's a snowman inside of a coffee cup. Um, and then I have it almost, actually, I think I have the scarecrow fully cut. So it we won't have a ton of cutting time. So we are going to like put these together and make them. And then I have this really cute um, scarecrow that we're going to build. I, I still need to sand all the pieces. I got them cut pretty quickly. But this is a cute little um, scarecrow that we're going to build. Um, so he's really cute, but we're gonna do a little scarecrow and, uh, the snowman in a cup, but I do need to finish cutting the snowman in the cup because I didn't have time. And then we'll sand these and paint, paint, paint. Um, so I'm going to put this over here. Hey, Neil. Hey, Chris and Jerry and Robin. I'm new to this whirl saw world. I actually enjoy using spiral blades. I've heard a lot of negative things about them. Yeah, so it's a mix. There's a, <laughs> you either use straight blades or you use spiral blades, but there is a few of us that use both. Um, I feel like there's a place in time for each type of blade. I tend to use like about 90% spirals though, just because um, I do a lot of portrait work. Hey, Don, how are you? Hey, Chris. Let's see, did I get everybody? Connie and Robin. Robin, don't forget your copy. You have seven minutes. And Steve. All right, so I'm gonna finish cutting these out so we can actually craft a little bit. Um, I did get his base cut, so he'll actually sit in this base. I'm not going to put him all the way in because he's got paper on him, but he's going to sit in this little base. Um, and then this is all of his like extra added things onto him. So his accessories, you're not awake. Robin's here. Wow, she's never online. <laughs> Robin's always online. Actually, I'm going to do... So if you're new to scroll sign, like Chris, you always want to do your inside cuts first um, and then cut the outside. So I do have a couple inside cuts. Like I said, this isn't going to take me very long because these are pretty basic. Um, I shouldn't say that because, you know, I'll break a blade or something just because I said that. Um, but you always want to cut your innards first. So I'm just going to cut these cups out so we can start um, putting them together. Jerry up back. I'm backing up Facebook too. Oh, thank you. And look at, I already pulled my blade right out of the bottom. Let's see. I'm going to have to put it back in. Hold on. How are you feeling, Robin? Hopefully a little better today. And you guys, I'm really hoping that these storms don't hit us. So far, we've been lucky and they haven't. And it was supposed to be like from five to seven or five to eight, I guess. Um, and we haven't, we had some wind, but we haven't actually had any big storms yet. So. Have a good night, Chris. 
what in the heck? Maybe I broke this plate already and didn't realize it. No, okay. All right. All right, so your first joke. Are you guys ready? What did one eye say to the other? I know it's weird to be back a little bit. I've been doing some videos, but I haven't actually been live and it feels like forever. I'm gonna have to probably glue that down better, but it gives us a start. Hey, Angela. Did anybody guess on the joke? What did one eye say to the other? Okay, this is gonna be kind of a long cut, but. I don't know if my blade's gonna make it through it anyway, so we might have a shorter cut. because I don't know if I can actually say your name. <laughs> aye, aye. Aye, aye. Don't look now, but something in between us smells. We need like a, I need like my stream deck back so I can do my little drum roll thing. Clean stuff over here. 
Sorry guys, I got a big board, so I'm hitting the side. Okay, hold on. This glue does not like to stay on this hard, hard paper, hard stock. Okay, next one. What's a tree? What is a tree's favorite kind of soda? Hit the like button, everyone. Thanks, Neil. Hey, Billy. Okay, so we got another piece cut for our guy. I am going to cut this corner off, though, so I have a little less room, or more room, I should say. So we'll finish cutting these few pieces out, and then we'll put them together. So what is a tree's favorite kind of soda? The answer is root beer. this paper. You were right. It's awesome. All right. You ready for another one? Can you tell this is my kid's book? <laughs> Let's 
see. What do baseball teams and pancakes have in common? What do baseball teams and pancakes have in common? What do baseball teams and pancakes have in common? They both need a good batter. <laughs> All right, so we got another one cut for that. And we're gonna do this little snowflake. Shade the perfect hand model. I don't know about that. I kind of have manly hands. <laughs> Oh, you know what? We're going to glue this right now because this is going to be an issue already. <clears throat> oh, you guys, <clears throat> do you know how many glue sticks I go through? It's insane. This just sat too long ago. I glued it and it just sat. So this thick paper. Hopefully I lined it up good enough again. That's where my holes are. <clears throat> Steve, Shay would be a great hand model. She didn't ever, didn't have to ever hold anything without dropping it. This is the truth right there. I drop everything. Flynn, how are you? Because I'm like losing my voice all of a sudden. It's so strange. I 
I dress like Christmas morning. I actually, so funny story. <coughs> um, as you guys know, I work from home and I only had like one external meeting today. They were all internal. <clears throat> so I've been wearing pajama pants all day, <laughs> but I did have a blazer and a nice sweater on. Um, <clears throat> going to the docks, just have you on while I get ready. Ah, oh, thank you. So kits are coming. Um, they're going to be coming to my site this next week um, for the ones that we are making. So yes, they will be here. I will only offer a limited amount of them though because obviously I don't have a laser and so I have to hand cut everything. <clears throat> so I can't make like 40 kits of one. So that's all I would be doing was making kits and I do a lot of portraits. So but yes, they are, they are coming. <clears throat> yes, Neil, I drill holes with a scroller drill, so I can actually put it on my wood anywhere and then drill my hole. But finding the hole is another story. Sometimes it can be challenging when you're coming from underneath. Santa may bring me a laser. Oh, probably not. I am. I am. I am the big red guy. <laughs> That is true, Beth Lynn. I would I would definitely need a laser. to do up this little um, scarecrow. He is so cute. I, I stopped to read. I needed to read in my chat. It's hard to read in Saldo, but once they start painting, then I'll be able to read it a little bit better. Okay, here's your next one. How do baseball players keep cool? So now we just have external cuts. So these will go quick. I am going to do a quick jot down this side.
family kits. Um, so I will sell the kits and then I will sell the ones that I painted. I will sell the ones that I do too. My blade is not in here, right? You can feel when your blade isn't in um, you'll have a lot of like, if you're turning, you'll have a lot of play in your blade and you don't want play in your blade. So baseball players keep cool they sit next to their fans that's what you're gonna say van yes. where do snowmen keep their money We have a snowflake. Okay, so I am going to put that over there and then we'll get these last little guys out of here. Then we can start painting. All right, are you ready? Where do snowmen keep their money? In a snowbank. Did anybody get that? What is a sleeping bulldog? No, oops. <laughs> What is a sleeping bull called? We should learn how to read. That'd be good.
Ja, han bor i stenen här. Mike got it, a bulldozer. Guys, I keep getting stuck on something and I can't figure out what it is. Ooh, guess we need that. We need that piece. Oh, Angela said it first. I missed it. Let's see. What animals, what animal has more lives than a cat? What animal has more lives than a cat? This paper stinks. Never use um, thick cardboard paper for your pattern, ever. I regretted, regretted that fully. Oops, look at another glue stick is gone. Did somebody give the dog a squeaky toy? All I'm hearing is squeaking coming from the other room. Have her shovel. Oh, oh. Hey, Jen, how's it going? Well, let's glue that one right now. A riddle from a kid's book, Charlie, to see if you're smarter than a kid. 
Well, I can say that I I am not. Well, uh, you guys are gonna pass me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you the answer. Just a second. So you guys see me glue this? It's gonna pop up again. I guarantee it. Okay, here is your answer. What animal has more lives than a cat? Frogs, they croak every night. What did the buffalo say to his son when he left for work? What did the buffalo say to his son when he left for work? What did the bison say to his son when he left for work? Shay, you just blew the joke. The answer is bison. How did I, what did I, <laughs> did I say it? <laughs> oh no. Okay, <laughs> next. <laughs> All right. How do you stop an elephant from charging? I see the answer in the chat. You take away his credit cards. That was the correct answer. What kind of markets should dogs avoid? 
Okay, two more cuts and we are ready. I see the answer, flea market. Why are graveyards so noisy? Whoop. Dropping stuff. You guys are good.
we're cutting <laughs> just jokes. Well, we're done cutting now. Now it's time to craft. We got our, our pieces for this guy. And then we have our pieces for this guy. Now I do need to sand them a little bit, so I will do that. But first, because of all the coffin. All right, you guys ready for another one? Those are knock knock jokes. Maybe we'll go back to those. What type of music do balloons hate? What type of music do balloons hate? Okay, so I have to remember where all these pieces go. So I'm gonna attempt to build it really quick so I can try to remember what I did. And then I'll sand off the pieces. I'm thinking. I have options. So should I do these guys? Should I do these guys or should I do these little hand guys? I kind of like the little hands, but I kind of wanted to do, um, uh, I kind of wanted to do ra raffia out, out the tops. So, I don't know if those little hands would work for that. It might be better to actually do um, these guys so I can lay it across it. Hands and boots, hands and boots. Okay, we'll go with that. Sorry, my friends, gotta go for now, but we'll leave you playing, Shay. Thanks, Don. have a good night. Okay. He's kinda cute with little hands, though. Okay, so there's our little guy we're gonna build, and then let me build him up really quick just to make sure I have everything I needed. He's got his little face and his shovel. And then this is actually for the back side. And then this is for the front. Like that. And then a little handle. And his nose. And actually, should we do like that? His hands and a little snowflake. And then his brim of his hat. How cute is he? He is cute too. Okay, which one do you want to start with? Do you want to start with the snowman or the scarecrow? Hey, a beautiful day, how are you? Which one should we start with?
What type of music do balloons hate? Did anybody get it? Pop music, of course. What is the most musical part of a fish? Scarecrow, scarecrow, all right. Moving the snowman. We are having a good night. We are doing some, some kid jokes. See if we're smarter than a fifth grader. Hey, Jeff. So I'm just peeling off the paper. Scales. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you a trick. Everybody should have carbon paper as part of their crafting tools because when you don't have a laser or to do this. This is an easy way to peel this back. Add your carbon paper, but make sure that the shiny side is down or you won't get anywhere. Oh, I need to go down just a little bit more to there. Flip him back up. And take a pin and just trace. We don't necessarily need to trace his nose because we have a nose. So I'm just doing a little line, but I want to do his mouth. I got sawdust on my pin. Oops, we didn't get that piece. Okay. So I have a little outline at least to know where I'm putting his, his eyeballs and face. Welcome back, Philly. So I'm gonna be loud for just a minute again. I'm just gonna sand the fuzzies off of these before we paint them because the paint will get stuck to the fuzzies. And your answer is it scales. So you guys are correct. What do librarians take with them when they go fishing? I am going to round these little feet a little bit too. Um, just because I like the way they look. More rounded.
he needs up just a little bit, round the shoes a little bit. Because when we actually paint these, that those lines will be there. Just the edges. Make sure guys edging the right side. Sorry guys, I know this is loud. Let's just see one more minute. Now this is the flower center, so I'm gonna do this one a little bit more off. Take out the little bird. Okay, this is the bird guy. So we're gonna do his little beak. Alright, 
actually. Hold on. Let's do one more. a little character. Dremel with a flip shaft. I love this thing. I use it all the time. Okay, what? Did, which one did we leave off at? Oh, what? What do librarians take with them when they go fishing? Bookworms. Why does the clock in the cafeteria run slow? Okay. Hey, Ken, how are you? So we're gonna start with his little feet. And if you guys don't normally watch me, I'm the craziest, messiest painter ever. So I will be completely covered in paint and sawdust by the end of the night. It never fails. Got a foot. John, how are you? Thanks. It's good to be back. It's been a long time. I'm going to start trying to come back more often every week again. Oh, and somebody just rang my doorbell. Oh, and my mom. This live happened a week ago. Oh, she just opened her Amazon package. I don't know what's in there. I don't know either, actually, to be honest. Hopefully it's something bad. <laughs> okay, some of those are Christmas presents. Hi, that. Wait, everyone was going to. Sorry, guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> real life drama here. Real real life drama. The more house. I guess our Amazon packages got delivered to our neighbor. And then she opened them and was trying to figure out why it was nothing she ordered. And then realized after she looked at the box that it was ours. Well, I'm glad she brought them over. Hey, Herb, how are you feeling? Okay, so we got his little feet done, and I kind of want to do his hat like a, a, a brown color, so we are going to, hey babe, will you give me a glass of water so I can put this in water? Good. What? You're not here? <laughs> Brian's not here, you guys. Oh, Herb, I'm so sorry. That's not easy. So sorry for your loss, Herb. I think I'm gonna do... Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my heat gun and make sure I get these a little bit dry because I know for a fact that I will touch them and get them everywhere. I didn't know you lost your dad either. Oh, father-in-law. Well, still the same, still your dad. You guys have been having a rough, a rough few months. Okay, before I put this black away, I do want to paint the bird black though. So I am going to grab my thing so I can use the same brush. Just dry it off a little bit. I forgot about little bird. We're going to do his pink beak yellow though. So I'm just going to go up to the beak. The question will be if I can actually paint this without getting the black on the beak, but there's a good chance that that's not going to happen. <coughs> and if you're new here, my house is kind of crazy. We have six kids in our house. So there's usually a lot of background noise. Okay, so we got him done. Well, we are thinking of you both, or Okay. What did we leave off at? Now I can't remember. Oh, what did the clock, why does the clock in the cafeteria run slow? It went back for seconds. That looks cute. Why was the math book sad? Why was the math book sad? Lame, whatever. 
the math with the sex is not a negative attitude. <laughs> Ah, I like that one actually. Good job, babe. Was that it? No. <laughs> you hear me, guys? You got so excited. I thought that was it. Okay, so I don't know what this brown's gonna look like, but we're gonna try it. And if we don't like it, we can cover it up. Actually, I think this might be okay. I'm really not wanting it thick. I just kind of want it brushed on. Because I do not know how painters, like you crafters that paint all the time, how you're not a huge mess. Well, <laughs> good point. You probably all wear gloves because you're smart. You guys, I just had a black finger stay on the front of that. So now I'm going to try to brush that out. Okay, so let me dry that guy. Hey, Dennis. Thanks for the thumbs up. I see it. Try to get some paint on the piece now you're someday. I know, look at it, I'm already covered. It always happens that way. I'm just a messy painter. Okay, so now we're gonna do his hat. But I wanna make sure I don't get any on his actual face. So I think we'll start there. And I'll go underneath it a little bit, but. This wood actually is pretty green. Let's see. I think that's slow enough for him. Hey, crossover and Doug. All right. The math, uh, why was the math book sad? Because it had too many problems. What color socks do bears usually wear?
Okay, I'm going to move these guys a little bit. And I think I might do I just had a pin, didn't I? Okay. We're gonna cut this out. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to sand the edges of it anyways to make it look more rustic. put some I was watching him too Charlie rustic is your word well my that paintbrush won't fit in there a smaller guy so I'm just gonna Sorry guys, I'm missing the chat. I have no idea what's being said right now. Are you wiping the paint off on your sweater? No, but probably getting it all over my sweater, pretty sure. It's all over me, Doug. Okay. Got that down. I'm going to dry it a little bit. She would find a way to get paint on herself if they painted the house across the street. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. This is true. See, I'm afraid to get black on this, though. So. hot mess but I admit it though so that makes it better right okay I gotta get a glue stick in and then I will do another I'm actually just gonna glue these on with glue sticks instead of wood glue they're not going outside but if you ever do make these and you want to put them outside, do not use hot glue. 
the sun will melt your glue. Okay, so we're going to put a foot there. And did I run out of jokes? I did not run out of jokes. Okay. So, where were we? What, what color socks do bears usually wear? None. They usually have bare feet. What does a cloud wear under its raincoat? So I think I want to turn it just a little bit. Like so. And I'm actually going to just leave him wood because he's super cute. Um, and then I need to paint the flower. And this little bird. It's beak. We are going to do bright yellow. Guys, we have 25 watching. Thanks, you guys. All right. And I don't necessarily need to worry about the center because we have the center piece that's going to be going on top of it. if you want to get all the edges. I'm really curious of what I ordered. I can't remember. I guess you'd get to know your neighbors really good if you open their packages. <laughs> you just want to make sure you coat anything that's going to show. See, now, now I got yellow. 
Hit that like button, everyone. Thank you. Thunderwear. Ah. What does a cloud wear under its raincoat? Thunderwear. Rose got it. Awesome job. Um, what steps do you take if a tiger is running toward you? You guys, I just realized I glued that down. And I did not want that down yet. So I wanted to put like, a hay underneath it. See if I can heat this sky up a little bit. Nope, I'm not gonna be able to get it off. I'll have to, just, I'll have to make it look like I did it. Okay, so then we have this little the little bird. It's gonna go there. And then I am gonna do this black too. We'll just stick with that. So we got that guy, dry him. What steps do you take if a tiger is running towards you? Big ones. Big ones. What did the girl pig say to the boy pig? What did the girl pig say to the boy pig? He's wearing a... Porky? <laughs> What's shaking bacon? These are all great. So I'm just gonna distress this flower a little bit. I got black paint on it already. just a little bit.
And then we'll take our bird, swoop, do something there. We'll give him a little eyeball. is a scarecrow. We have a snowman to do too, <clears throat> if we have time. Snowman and a copy cup. But we had to cut pieces earlier, so taking a little longer. Okay, so we got that on there. I am gonna rustic up his feet a little bit. That little uh, edging that I did really helps with taking more off because it's a, it's actually got like a little bit of a facing. So then we're gonna do, sorry guys, my kids are being loud in the back. Just doing a little doodle on him. Make him look a little more finished. And we'll do a dot there and come back around. Full house of love. Yes. It is crazy in here. All right, so the answer is, what did the girl pig say to the boy pig? You are so ham, handsome. <laughs> I can't even say it. <laughs> handsome, but ham, son. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so let's do his little triangle nose. I think we should do the crimson color. Let's try it. The great thing with paint is you can just cover it back up. That's a good color actually. Now I'm gonna look like I'm bleeding because I'm gonna be covered in this red paint. Okay, got that painted. All right, let's do his little um, eyes. And then I'm gonna actually, let me see if I can put this in before I do his eyes. I really shouldn't have glued that down first and I did, but let me see if I can actually slide any of this through. If I can, that would be completely epic. <laughs> oh 
I'm not getting a big enough piece to come. Rope, rope, oh. Got a little piece. That, that will work. Where did my scissors go? I keep losing them. Hey, John. You just got home. Let's see if we can slide another one in there since it's like a thin little piece. I should have just put it. Um, actually not glued it down yet. So it was my bad. But I don't think it's going to come off either. And it's on there. It's on there good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to glue to the base of this and then the top. So it looks like it's going all the way through. So I'm gonna cut some pieces. Am I cutting it or not? No. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to, we are gonna be sneaky and just glue a little bit without frying my fingers off. I'll trim his bangs in just a second. Okay, ready for your answer? Okay, so we're gonna cut these off. We unglued that one. <laughs> Stay. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna put it towards the top too. So it looks like it's coming out the top. Really wish I would have just did it long pieces so they all matched up. But that's all right. Because this thing doesn't want to work for me. There we go. <gasps> We'll trim these guys too. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my black marker. Oh, 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 you haven't, I have not glued the flower yet. Um, did 
Did I do another one yet? I don't think I did. What is better than a talking dinosaur? What is better than a talking dinosaur? I'm gonna do uh, need a little makeup now. We're gonna do probably the same rosy cheek. Hey, Tammy. If it's fine, what? Shay, Tam Tam, show up for Shay once every three months, but don't do any of my daily shows. I see how it is. Oh, <laughs> well. John. Okay, so we're going to do big. Circles on this guy. And then... I might actually end up doing the flower down here and the bird because I didn't leave a whole lot of room up there. Let's see. I don't really like how this is flat. I have to move that up. Okay, so then we're going to put on his nose. like uh, wax him a little bit but I'm not really sure what I did with my bottle oh here's some okay so I just want to And do like did you see that lift on me, you guys? Did a huge dot on there. That's not quite dark enough yet. Hold on a little bit. And I will brush a little on the edges. Okay. That is better. And then I want to do 
do that. Because I have a feeling I'm going to end up in this. So actually, I can still fit another one in there. And do a little piece. Actually, I always think I'll end up putting that up there. What do you guys think? Should I do it here or here? I'm gonna put this on really quick and so I don't put my hands in it. Good night, Bethlyn. What is better than a talking dinosaur? A Spelling bee. What kind of tree can you fit in your hand? What kind of tree can you fit in your hand? Okay, so the flower here or here? What do you guys think? Five mile. Hi, five mile. Uh, it is actually kid jokes. So they're super simple. You have to really not think too hard. <laughs> or you have to think hard. What do you guys think? Should I put it? The flower here. Oh, I guess you can't see that here or down here on its rim or up on top. Any suggestion? Brim, upper hat on the rim. On the rim, on the rim. All right, I think rim is winning. The rim it is. Okay, we still have his little, little hands, but we also have these. So do you feel like now that he's put together, what hands do you think we should use? The long ones or the short little people hands? Because we'll put on, we can put on the raffia on the hands as well. Sorry, Billy is out. That's not the rim. That is, that is, that is enough. Everybody said rim. Everybody said rim. And a palm tree was the correct answer. Why are pianos hard to open? Any suggestion on which hand we should do? This one or this guy? Now that he is <laughs> Billy. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Okay, 
Why don't we figure that out? I'm going to add his little buttons because he needs buttons. I had the same button would be good. This one's, that one's close enough. Okay. So we're gonna put little buttons down. Small hand. <laughs> Not the rakes. Ooh, it's hot, hot, hot. Okay. So let's do, um, if you want to do, maybe we'll do brown to keep the brown together. Again, be brown gloves and then we'll put a little raffia coming out the bottoms of them. Oh, oh, you guys, that was not brown. That was bronze. The brown is right here. Hold it. More like hand like hand since he has shoes. See, Billy, we took one of yours. Why are pianos so hard to open? Big thunder. The storms are officially here. That was loud. It was a big boom. Steve, will you look at my weather report? Oh. Hey, Steve. I should say Steve F. That was like two right next to each other. Uh, here comes the rain. Okay, so let me dry these. I'm covered in poop paint. You're gonna have weather shake? Yeah, we've had tornadoes in Nebraska all day today. Um, we weren't supposed to get anything until tonight. Well, it was supposed to be at like seven, it's late. Uh, why do pianos, why are pianos hard to open? Because the keys are inside. Does it look bad, Steve, or is it okay, this, this storm?
What did the duck say when finished? He finished shopping. Ooh, they're toasty. Let me get some raffia first this time. Uh, <laughs> it's going to get stronger, but doesn't look terrible. Okay, good. Um, Look at that bill. Put it on my bill. Hold on. I gotta finish cutting this really quick and then I can look. So if we went like this. You know, honestly, I don't think it needs it. I think it might just be too much. Or we could do a little paint right here and then stick it on the top of them. So then it would be on the tops, but I don't know, you guys, I think we might just do without. I don't think it needs it. Let's not do that. Two, sometimes less is more, right? Now the question is, thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> I think we'll do, we'll do, Thumbs up. Okay. Your answer is put it on my bill. I know I saw that in the chat. I don't know who said it though. What do you get when you cross a snowman and a vampire? Okay, so we are gonna do um, if I can get this open. Yeah, there's been like an intense storm all day today in the middle of the state. We have been, guys, I got this on clearance last year at in the season. I haven't used it yet, so I figured this might be a good time to pull it out. I kind of want a little bit of a pad though. have all my ribbon is downstairs in my craft room which does not help me very much we'll try this
It's like really coming down. If I disappear, I lost power, but I should be okay. Kind of just want to do a knot, not a bow, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull that off. Well, I guess we're doing a bow. Okay, and then I just need to sand these edges off a little bit because our paper, I'm gonna have to let me move this before I drop it all over. Kind of distressing the sides of the paper. And I think I'm going to do just a little whoop, right into the sawdust. Awesome. We'll do two. just to give it a nice little finish. I told you it was gonna get stronger. <laughs> well, it did, Steve. It did get stronger. It's definitely coming down now. Okay. Um. I think I just want to touch up his eyes a little bit. No, oh, I can't get in there with that. All right, I think I got it on the raffia a little bit. Hold on, I goobered. The great thing with wood is whenever you goober, a little sandpaper, Fixes everything. All right. There is our little scarecrow. How stinking cute is he or she? It's probably a chick. <laughs> so there he is. Do you guys want to keep going and do the snowman now? Or do you want to call it good and do the snowman tomorrow? What do you guys think? No, it's late. It's already nine on a work night. But he stands up. So he will stand up. Um, well, not on my, my uh, tilted saw, but he will stand. So he'll be a shelf sitter. Um, which will be, I, I'm really into the shelf sitters right now for some reason. Um, but he'll be a cute little addition. Welcome back, Billy. Okay. Here's your, here's your answer. What do you get when you cross a snowman and a vampire? You get frostbite. 
How do prisoners call each other? Your last one of the evening. How do prisoners call each other? So there is our little scarecrow. Super cute. Um, I think I'm actually going to um, go live tomorrow and we will do up this coffee mug snowman. Um, he's going to be super cute. He's got a little stand. So uh, I think we'll do him tomorrow just because I don't want to rush. Um, there's a lot of little details we can do on him. Um, so I think I'll come back tomorrow and do him. Keep going. I'm too tired to start my life. <laughs> I haven't had dinner yet though. And it's nine. What do you guys want to do? Do you want me to do it now? Or do you want to do it tomorrow? Vote in, vote in the, in the chat, in the comments. Shay, what is the name of the trivia book my grandson wants to know? It is called Belly Laugh Jokes for Kids. And it did have like a belly laugher thing in it, which is ripped out of here. <laughs> that just happened because it was there like an hour ago. But it's 350 jokes in there. Do it now. Do it now. There's a ton of people on Fortnite. All right. We'll do it. Okay. How do prisoners call each other? So I'm going to just quickly take all this off here so we can get it sanded up a little bit. Um, and then we'll start painting him. <laughs> all right the now where's one if i get hangry though it's all your fault okay we have them all cut so it won't be too bad Deal, Robin. Deal. Get a snack. Well, I have a big noodle right here, but I don't think that's going to cut it. Okay, so I'm going to move this down just a little bit. So I don't get sawdust all over my board. I'm going to clean this up just a little bit. I think I'll end up rounding these on the actual piece so I know which ones I should do. But we'll clear them off a little bit.
I'm actually gonna round this though, because we know what this is. What did you take the paper off that one? We don't need to do a lot to these because these are the underneath pieces. Look at the chat in just a second, you guys. Sorry. Have any extra ones that we need to do um but first off let's put him together i'll take this off it's a lot of pieces to this guy okay how do prisoners call each other on their cell phones That was kind of wrong, a little bit. All right, so let's I'm gonna glue this together. Mm 
like so. Now this is gonna go on the top of this and this is gonna go behind. And this is gonna go in here. Perfectly. Okay, and then realistically, we don't have to paint anything underneath except his body a little bit. So I'm gonna move pieces over here. And This needs to definitely be in the front. Okay, so let's get some white for the snowman. We'll go to like here just to be safe. We got his whole body. your day today? Okay, so let's try this. Hey, Kelly, how are you? We just made a scarecrow because <laughs> I have no idea where I just put it. Oh, here he is. We just made this little scarecrow. He's a little shelf sitter. Where does the polar bear go vote? Where does the polar bear go vote? Oh, you guys, you know what? I didn't even have to, <laughs> didn't even have to paint that part because That is going right there. So let's go ahead and paint this. I just had to paint the edges. That's all I needed to actually do. Uh, 
add a little to the actual piece and paint it that way. Please don't mispronounce <laughs> shelf sitter. <laughs> Are you nervous, Steve? <laughs> I think it makes Steve nervous. Thanks, Kelly. Okay, so let me dry this guy a little bit. Long days getting worse. <laughs> Well, it better not be because you're here, John. All right. So we were going to be done, but then I got voted out. So now we're doing a snowman in a coffee mug. But that's okay. I was planning on doing it many ways, but it took a little longer to cut all those and do those than I thought it was going to. It's a hot, hot, hot. Okay. Oh, I guess I don't have him in here straight away. To pop him in there. There we go. He's lopsided. Okay. Now he's in there. Now we can add the mug. I think what we'll do is we will do the mug like a light blue. Okay, where do polar bears go to vote? Did we get an answer yet? Actually, that's kind of tealy almost. I kind of want like a... See what this looks like. I think this is kind of almost purpley. It's not bad. It's not bad, but I need a bigger brush or I'm going to be here all day. We're going to take this guy off and move him up. North Pole, North Pole. I just want my brush strokes going the same way. Not that it matters, just my own OCD. Okay, 
The answer is the North Pole. Just kidding, the edges here. Okay, so then we'll. That doesn't really matter that we got that there because the hand's gonna go over it. Ooh. Need to let it dry before I do more. Why don't skeletons get into fights? What kind of paint are you using? I am using uh, Artist Loft acrylic paint. I love these uh, Artist Loft. I get them in the big tubes too, but um, if you buy them in the smaller tubes, you get like a 36 pack of a bunch of different colors. Um, but it's really nice paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down and then I'm going to go in and paint the edges of the blue. See if I can do this without burning myself. But I did learn from Kelly to use mustard. Which might actually end up being a thing tonight. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in and just paint the edge. I'm going to do one more round on the top because it wasn't all the way dry and I peeled up just a little bit. What did the judge say to the skunk? Skunk wandered into, what did the judge say when a skunk wandered into the courtroom? Thanks, Liz, it is a really pretty blue. I need to get the inside of the handle though. I just know it's the, you know, the little things. the judge say when a skunk wandered into the courtroom? I'm 
Okay, now we're gonna get our black. Ooh, it's pouring now. We're gonna do his hat. Oh, and another thing with these paints, they're actually from Michael's and they always have buy one, get one half off. Plus your coupons, so. Such a good black. Oh, I got a little goob on there. It's okay. We will clean them up. Now this is the brim of the hat, so we have to paint this black too. Man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry guys. What? Yeah. Are you just saying that so I go look? I love thunderstorms, you guys. So for me to not be out looking at it, it's kind of a miracle right now. Okay. Monsoon. Get this dry and put this up on the top. <laughs> odor in the or odor in the court. <laughs> Brian, Brian just, just gave me a look of horror. <laughs> You said what you think you said. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so we are gonna glue. His little hand on or hat, hat rim on, and then we need to do his nose. We do have this handle too, so why have this paint? Oh. I'm going to Sorry guys, my house is a hot mess tonight. Well, it always is, but usually they're better about my lives than they are right now. But my granddaughter doesn't understand, so
Okay, so. Okay, so we're gonna dry this guy. Kelly, what have you been up to tonight? We'll get some detail in here and it will really make it pop. Guys, I just about fried my hand on that one. So we're gonna turn this like so. I love how it has like that 3D look because it is 3D, but okay. And then um, I do want to, I can see it from my camera. I want to just carefully get this top rim. An attempt to not actually get it on the snowman, but I don't know if that's happening. Thanks, Jerry. This would have been a good thing to do before I glued it on. We did it. We did it. Okay. Now we just need to add his shovel. And I'm going to give you a new one here. Why was the computer so chilly? Okay, so we're going to do like a silver on the actual... Um, shovel. But before I do that, I'm actually just going to glue the top piece to the shovel on right now so I don't have to paint a bunch of stuff I don't really need to paint. I wish I had like a gun metal, but I don't think I have anything. I guess I could mix a little bit of black with the silver and see what I can come up with. That is, er, we'll mix a little bit, see what we can come up with. I'll do black, some silver. See if we can come up with a decent shovel look. I need to put it in a little white. Add a little more silver to it so it has that shimmer. Okay, so we're gonna do, ah, that's a perfect color.
All right. And we're actually just going to, let's see. I kind of want to really quickly just rub a little bit of this antique wax on the handle of it. Hey, Chris, haven't done much lazy day. That's good. Lazy days are good days. They're my favorite days. Oh, oopsie, look it. I just got it all over my pants. I was doing so good too. I was gonna make it, I was actually gonna make it out. I was gonna make it out with just all over my hands. Nope. I'm just rubbing this on. Hey, Jeff. Okay, so then we're going to just dry this off just a little bit and then we'll glue it on and then paint the edges of the actual shovel up there. Hey, Chris, welcome back. And that I just did this all over. There it is. Just getting a little missing. The great thing with this antique wax is you don't necessarily need to have it covered. It's just kind of a nice antique -y look. But I don't want any like bright white spots. Then you know you missed a spot. Okay. So let's glue our shovel on. That flu makes the snowman pop. Ah, thank you. Creative character, how are you? I'm glad that you made it. Okay, so I'm gonna go around before this paint dries to my actual um, wood. And I'm gonna go in and touch up the edge of the shovel. Gotta have it finished. And okay. So that is there. So where are my pink blue strands? Okay, you ready for another one? Why was the computer so chilly? It left its windows open was the answer. And what is, what kind of apple has a short temper? 
Okay, so now we can, I think we'll do like a, uh, let's trade this blue for his little ham, his little mittens, I think would be good. It's probably enough for both of them. Ooh, it has shimmer in it. I forgot, I like that. Okay, so there's his little mittens. Crab apple is the correct answer. What is the king of the pencil box? Connie beat me to it. <laughs> what is the king of the pencil box? The eraser, no. The king of the pencil box. So now I'm just gonna go and paint. His little mittens all the way to the back. And then right here in the front. Sorry guys for the view. I had to be able to see there. Covering up blue on white is not as easy as I can go through and touch up where I need to. I like that color blue, the shimmer in it, super cute. And I'll have to touch up that other blue. Okay, so now that we have his um, majority of him, I'm gonna go ahead and do his little nose. And we're going to be distressing him anyways. Okay, so his little nose is done. Don't want to do that.
The answer, what is the king of the pencil box? It's the ruler. You guys, we have 25 people still watching. You guys are all night out. Thanks for watching and thanks for the thumbs up. What do you call a famous fish? What do you call a famous fish? Draw an ink pen. Okay. So we do have this little snowflake and I kind of want to do like a white center. Um, let me get another brush because I want to use that in the blue. So we're going to do like a white, well that brush is stiff. Yimers. Must want to clean that one very good. Okay, so we're going to do like a little bit like of a dusting of white. Make sure I get in the little holes. And then I'm going to take this shimmer metallic blue. And I'm going to Get the I'm trying to get the edges without getting it too dark. So I might just have to wipe it off a little bit. But I want to make sure that the brown isn't showing through the edges. So Murphy oil soap makes stiff br brushes loose. Mm, interesting. I had Murphy oil soap. I'll have to try it. I must not have cleaned that one very good or something. I don't know. It was like really stiff. So I'm going to just go around and lightly get the edges of this. And then we're going to lightly brush the center. So there's still a little white coming through. So we have like an ombre snowflake that will match his mittens and his little Cup. I'm go ahead and just stick him here. Thanks, Robin. A little ombre, a little ombre snowflake. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier with um, his little nose. I'm just gonna rub a little bit of wax on it because I want to get the edges to be just a little rustic, but I'm not getting enough. Well, 
And it's got blue paint on it. There we go. Okay, so we're going to glue his nose down. And I'm actually going to point him up just a little bit. Point that nose up a little bit. I'm going to define all my lids to all my, all, all of my lovely, um, colors because I'm going to need to put them on. So I'm just going to do a little bit of line to make this actually look like a shovels here. Not that that looks like a shovel. Okay. And then we're gonna take our, where did my white one go? There it is. We're gonna take our white and I'm just gonna do, um, I'll do like three dots. Three dots there. And then we'll do like a little swoopy here with a dot. And then we'll do a dot here. Another little swoop. I'm gonna dry this. Cause what will happen is I'll stick my fingers in it. I'm always good at that. And then we're going to just do little, we'll do little eyes. You guys, getting the eyes in a good spot is the hardest, is the hardest part. Okay, I gotta get a different one just to fill it in, but I kinda have an outline. This tip's bigger. I don't want to smear it everywhere. I am going to do white little dots in his like that. And then we'll do, we'll do a Because it's super pouring out there. Okay, now I need this again. We're gonna do, try this darker one. Robin. Okay. And then I'm going to touch this up because we have got a little black on there.
like little dots and some lines can do to make it look finished. It doesn't take much. I'm going to do one more. Probably do like a three dot and then a little line because it needed something there. Okay. And then we're almost done, you guys. We're almost done. We just need where is my oh yeah I threw it down in my sawdust that's right well that was that one have this little scrap piece of fabric actually we're gonna go ahead and use it it's actually a piece I had cutting off um making one of my pillows but all my um all of my ribbon is downstairs in my craft room and I don't want to go all the way to there to get anything so we're just going to make this work and it's like the perfect little strip I'm going to just tuck this just a little bit A little wide. Okay, so now <laughs> we just need scissors. piece of fabric I was going to throw away. It's always used for something. We glued him on. I don't know. I think he might be done. I kind of feel like the shovel though needs a dot or just something. Hey, JJ. Welcome back. Actually, were you here earlier? I thought you were. You knew you weren't. Okay. Your answer, what do you call a famous fish? A starfish. All right, you guys. There is our little cup snowman. <laughs> I'm probably going to do something with a shovel. I think I might end up, actually, let me try it right now. Let me just see something. I'm not ecstatic about the shovel. Um, and I just, I'm not to play with them because there's just something about the shovel that I'm not a big fan of. So there is our teacup. Our, our coffee mug snowman and here is our oops 
Here we go. Can you see them both now? Okay. <laughs> Our little scarecrow that we did tonight. So those will be cute to add to the collection. And really quick, let me grab um, our newest our newest member since I wasn't on the live or with you guys. I actually did this on uh, John's, what if I could live? Um, so we have our new snowman um, that, so this is our, our new, new edition that wasn't on a live, um, it was on John's live. And then this was the craft challenge snowman that we did on um, Kelly's. Now, if you go watch my YouTube video about the craft challenge and doing the snowman, um, you can find out about the craft challenge for October. Um, and Kelly is, um, it's on her channel. Um, and there's certain things that you have to do. So if you are interested in doing the craft challenge this month for October, message me and I'll give you um, the five items that we need. But her channel is Crafting and Coffee with Kelly. So um, go check her out and she has the things listed there as well. So we have like mini friends and big friends now. How cool is that? I'm getting quite the snowman collection going. <laughs> well, now we have, a, we have a scarecrow too now, but um, I have all these little snowman friends now, which is, which is fun. So, uh, but they will be up on the site and they will, I will have wood kits for all of the ones that you see here. Um, that won't be painted. Um, and you can buy the wood kits and then um, make them yourself. I'm going to be posting those um, later this week on my website. And then um, I will also have the ones that I paint and make um, on there uh, as well for sale. So, but I need to get them posted first. So I will, thanks Steve for um, posting Kelly's channel. That's awesome. So yeah, if you guys are interested in doing the craft challenge with us, it's super fun and everybody does different stuff. Um, so it's super creative. You have five items that you need to put in there. Like this one was, uh, oh wait, wrong, wrong one, went backwards. This one was uh, a pencil which I did here, jean, buttons, uh, cardboard, which is at the top of his hat. What was it? Jeans, pencil, cardboard. <laughs> Wait a minute. Cardboard, pencil, jeans. What am I missing? I'm... <laughs> Go watch my video. <laughs> it's on there. I don't remember now. I don't remember what we put in this guy. I just really am having a hard time remembering what the five items were. Buttons, jeans, pencil, cardboard. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, thanks for joining me tonight. It was a lot of fun hanging out again. Um, I'll be back more often now. We'll be doing a lot more of these little wood projects as well as um, portraits. I actually just finished a um, Christmas stuff is going to be start coming. We're going to be making um, candy canes. And um, I just cut this really big door hanger stocking that we're going to be making. Um, and then I'm also in the middle of working on um christmas gifts uh people's portraits for their animals and so on so lots of stuff going i'll probably be going live a lot more but just popping in and out um when i have time to actually like come in and saw gg hello welcome welcome 
we are just heading out here, but I appreciate everybody for coming and hanging out for three hours. That's like my longest live ever. Um, but it was a lot of fun. And these guys are stinking cute. So um, I'll be posting them on the site. All right, you guys, have a great night. Bye.